what's a better escape than curling up with a good book or magazine? For many of us, reading is a guilty pleasure. But if you want to take some of the guilt out of that pleasure, learn to do it for less. You know, there's really no reason to pay much, if anything, for a book or magazine. Let's start with magazines. Many, if not most, can be read online free. Want something to hold in your hands? You can find free subscriptions at several sites online. One caveat, you may have to surrender personal information and agree to get marketing emails. So before you go down this road, get a separate email address. If you find you regularly read a magazine, cut the cost in half over newsstand by subscribing to it. Want to cut the cost in half again? <laughs> Share that subscription with a friend. So much for magazines. Now let's talk books. You might find as many free books as you can carry at sites like FreeCycle and Craigslist. If you've got the time, become a respected reviewer at sites like Goodreads and Amazon, and you might find yourself getting free books from authors or publishers. Following authors can also get you free books sometimes before they're released. And speaking of Amazon, they have tons of free ebook titles you can download in just a few seconds. So does Barnes & Noble. Then there's free book swapping sites where you can trade books you have for books you want. And of course, last but definitely not least, you can read just about everything ever written for free at your public library. Use it often. Bottom line, there's plenty of free reading out there. Want links to these ideas and more? Then go to another free reading source, moneytalksnews.com. Just do a search for free books. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson. Love saving when you shop? Get the free Money Talks newsletter. It only takes seven seconds to sign up, and it's full of deals and news you'll really use. Do it now at MoneyTalksNews.com.